It's a normal afternoon on the doorstep of San Francisco's main government building, a snapshot of America's fentanyl crisis. Deaths which include entertainment icons Prince and Tom Petty. Addicts don't need to meet a dodgy dealer in an alleyway to get a hit, rather they simply make an appointment with their local GP and ask for a prescription. Let me paint a picture for you. A substance so potent that a tiny dose barely visible to the naked eye can either alleviate severe pain or lead to a fatal overdose. This is fentanyl, a synthetic opioid that has become synonymous with the modern opioid crisis. But what makes fentanyl so uniquely addictive? And how does it hijack the brain's reward system so effectively? Stick around until the end where we'll discuss why understanding fentanyl's mechanism is not just a matter of science. It's a call to action for clinicians, policymakers, and communities alike. Welcome to Psychiatry Simplified. I'm Dr. Sunil Rege, consultant psychiatrist. If you're interested in all things psychiatry, mental health, and neuroscience related, then this is the channel for you. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay in touch with all our future releases. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid initially developed in the 1960s for use as a surgical anesthetic. It's part of a broader family of opioids which include naturally derived compounds like morphine, semi-synthetic opioids like oxycodone, and fully synthetic ones like fentanyl. With a potency that's 100 times that of morphine and 50 times that of heroin, Fentanyl quickly became a vital tool in managing severe and chronic pain, particularly in cancer patients. To understand fentanyl's effects, we need to delve into the brain's opioid system. This system plays a critical role in modulating pain, emotional responses, and even vital functions like respiration. Fentanyl primarily acts on the mu opioid receptors, located in areas like the brainstem, the limbic system, and the spinal cord. When fentanyl binds to these mu opioid receptors, it triggers a cascade of events, starting with the inhibition of neuronal firing. This process of hyperpolarization reduces pain signals, while simultaneously flooding the brain's reward centers with dopamine. So what makes fentanyl so addictive? Unlike naturally occurring opioids like endorphins, Fentanyl doesn't play by the brain's rules. Its high lipid solubility allows it to cross the blood-brain barrier almost instantaneously. Once inside, fentanyl binds to mu opioid receptors with an affinity far greater than that of morphine or heroin. This leads to an exaggerated release of dopamine in the nucleus accumbens, a region often referred to the brain's reward center, where one also experiences pleasure over time, this artificial and excessive stimulation rewires the brain, diminishing its natural ability to regulate dopamine. The result, a cycle of dependence where more of the drug is needed to achieve the same effect. I've covered the neuroscience of addiction in this video here. What sets fentanyl apart isn't just its potency. It's also about its pharmacokinetics. Fentanyl's rapid onset and tight receptor binding means it produces a powerful high very, very quickly. But this same speed and potency come at a cost. For one, the therapeutic window, the range between an effective dose and a lethal one, is razor thin. On the streets, this becomes even more dangerous. Illegally manufactured fentanyl often lacks quality control and tiny dosing errors can result in fatal respiratory depression. Chronic pain patients are particularly vulnerable to fentanyl addiction. Chronic pain alters the brain's reward and stress systems. It creates a state through the prescription of the opioid, whereby a cascade begins, known as the reward deficit, anti-reward state, moving a person towards a stage called hyperketifeia, or a heightened sensitivity to negative emotions. Fentanyl now is being used to temporarily alleviate this negative state. The removal of the negative state reinforces its use because negative reinforcement becomes extremely powerful in consolidating ongoing use. So the individual now is using fentanyl to prevent the withdrawal and to prevent the negative state from occurring. But over time, the brain's homeostasis is disrupted. We know that ongoing opioid use results in opioid-mediated hyperalgesia, greater pain responses with ongoing use. 
Fentanyl use leads to further dysregulation of the mesolimbic dopamine system, amplifying both pain perception and emotional distress. This creates a vicious cycle of reliance or dependence, pain relief followed by withdrawal and then craving, seeking the substance to remove the negative affect. The other issue is that fentanyl's tight binding to opioid receptors also makes it resistant to reversal agents like naloxone, commonly known as Narcan. While naloxone can displace morphine or heroin from these receptors, it often requires higher or repeated doses to counteract fentanyl's effects. This is particularly concerning in overdose situations where seconds count. So why is fentanyl so addictive? To summarize, it's chemistry, it's pharmacokinetics, and its ability to hijack the brain's reward system makes it a perfect storm. But understanding these mechanisms isn't just academic, it's essential for designing better treatments and policies. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, and of course, subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with all our future videos. If you wanna learn about a substance that is much more potent than fentanyl, then check out our video on nitazines or nitazines here. Please let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. I look forward to seeing you in another video soon. Until then, Stay curious. Bye-bye.